In this optional video, I'll show how to derive the expression for the exponent for the cumulative distribution function, given that the distribution function itself is a power law. So in other words, given that we have some x that's described by this probability density, our familiar power law, a x to the minus alpha. So we're interested in the cumulative distribution function. That's capital P of x. And that's the fraction of data that are x or greater. So the picture here is that this is describing uh, a continuous variable. So this is a probability density. So in order to get a fraction or a probability, we need to do an integral. It's always the area under the curve. So the fraction of our values that are x or greater, well, we integrate from x all the way up to infinity. And we're integrating the density function. And y here is a dummy variable. I can't use x because I'm using x here. So um, what we need to do is evaluate this integral. So let's do that. So I'm going to go from x to infinity. And I'm going to plug in the distribution function. So this is a y to the minus alpha dy. So this is a relatively straightforward integral to do. We just need to be careful with minus signs. So a is a constant. It stays, stays put. And this is the power rule backwards. So I add 1 to the exponent. So this becomes y to the minus alpha plus 1. And I need to divide by minus alpha plus 1. And then I evaluate this from x to infinity. Right? It's a definite integral. All right. Pushing on, I'll leave this out front. And then we need to plug in uh, infinity and x for y. All right, so what do I mean by this? Well, we can't really plug in infinity because infinity isn't really a number. So maybe I should put this in quotes. It makes, makes mathematicians feel a little bit better. Um, but what this means is we want to plug in for y and see what happens to this expression as y gets larger and larger and larger, it gets closer and closer to infinity, grows without bound. And as long as alpha is greater than 1, then um, the overall exponent will be negative. This will be 1 over something, and this term's going to go to 0. So that term's gone. And that leaves us with the following. So we've got x minus alpha plus 1. This minus sign and this, uh, the minus sign down here, I'm going to um, simplify. So that minus becomes plus. This plus becomes minus. And then this is x minus alpha plus 1. So let me end by writing this just a slightly different way. So this is now p of x it's a alpha minus 1 x to the minus alpha minus 1. So this is the cumulative distribution function. This is the distribution function. So this is the main result. If we have a power law distribution, a probability density that's a power law, the cum cumulative distribution function is also a power law with a different exponent. If this is exponent alpha, 
this x is exponent alpha minus 1.